Hi YouTube. In this video I thought I'd do is talk about pencils. The various types of pencils that you would use for drawing. What I have here is your standard HB or number two pencil. It's a common pencil that has graphite in the center and it's encased in wood with a ferrule and of course an eraser. Usually for writing though you can draw with it and you can do lots of nice drawings. However, it is just one shade, and that is the HB shade. Between one pencil and, let's say, another brand of pencil, that HB shade may be a little different, but it's going to be somewhere in the ballpark, unless the manufacturer has gone a little wonky and has been drinking a little bit too much during the night shift. <laughs> Now, for drawing, it's better to have a number of different shades of pencils. So let me show you an example. Here I have is a tin of Stadler Mars Lumograph pencils. It's a very nice drawing set. Many artists use it, but it's not the only one. There are many others, such as the Mitsubishi Hayuni, uh, the Tombow, these are all nice drawing pencils. But I'm going to just show you this one here. If you look closely on the end, you can see that they have these little ratings. And in this case, it goes from 9H all the way to 9B. There are some sets that will actually have a 10, 11, even a 12. I happen to have some over there. But the majority of them will be from 9H to 9B. The H series here referring to hardness and they are the lighter pencils. So if you go with a 9H, well that's going to be a very light pencil, a very hard pencil, thus the H hardness there and that's because it has a lot more clay mixed in with the graphite. As you go through the different shades of pencils from harder to softer which are the B pencils are your softest pencil with the 9B being the softest in this particular set and you'll see the difference right away. Here was the 9H on this end of the spectrum and here is the 9B. And as you can see, it is like night and day. This pe pencil here has very little, if any, clay in it mixed with the graphite. So it's much softer and it's going to be much darker. And then everything in the middle here is going to have a different mixture of clay to graphite. The more clay and less graphite, the lighter the pencil is going to be. So the amount of clay in the mix goes up as you go towards the H's and to the high end of the H's, in this case is 9H. Now, Another popular pencil to use for drawing are mechanical pencils. These are different kinds of mechanical pencils that I happen to have. You can see I got this real fat one here and that's for my fat fingers. <laughs> it's very comfortable because it has this little rubber squishy thing on the end. But this is just one uh, example of a mechanical pencil. And the thing about mechanical pencils is they take these very thin lead 
we call them lead, but it's really graphite. And you never have to sharpen them. And they always give you a fine line. They're excellent for details. Mechanical pencils never require sharpening. You never sharpen these. You just inject more of the graphite lead out when you need it. They do come in different hardnesses. In this case here, I happen to have a 4B lead in there, which is very soft. And in this case, I got it from, I think it's called AIN, A-I-N. But here, for example, I have a, a B lead in there. And I got it from Pentel. And this particular uh, mechanical pencil, it's got a rating of 0.3 millimeters, which is a very, very, very skinny line, very thin line. Here's and an easy to break too. Be careful, don't put too much force, but you can see that you can get really nice details, and I just broke it again. So you you have to be very gentle with a 0.3 millimeter. This one here is a 0.5. You can see that there, that I have the 4B in there. And so it's just a little thicker line. And I'll just move that up just a little bit there. And here I have a 0.7 millimeter, which is going to be even thicker. And this one I have a 3B in there. So I, I have to wrap these little pieces of tape here just to tell me what kind of lead I have in here. But these I could use for detail drawings. Anytime I want pinpoint details, mechanical pencils are great for that. Uh, a lot of artists will only draw with mechanical pencils because of you never have to sharpen them. And you always have graphite in demand by just pressing little buttons on the back. And uh, they make the finest lines and you can have all the different tones that you want. Now there's a kissing cousin to these. And they're called either clutch pencils or lead holders. You take your pick. I don't care. I'm not prejudiced. But this here, for example, is one called the Stadler Mars Technico. And as you can see on the end, it also has this uh, lead coming out of here that you can, you can press this, but it doesn't act like a mechanical. For example, a mechanical pencil, every time you, you press the back, it ejects a certain amount, just a little bit at a time. And then you hold it down if you want to press it all back in again real carefully. That's fine. This one does not do that. If you press this down, your lead's coming out. It's just flying out. It's not meant to eject a certain amount each and every time you do that. It is meant to open a clutch. Like in one of those James Bond movies. And then you can freely move your lead in and out. What is also different about the lead holders compared to the mechanical pencils is that with the lead holders, you do have to sharpen them if you want to have a point on them. Now, there are different ways to do this. For example, if you have two of them, which I have here, and this one here, I can't see who makes it. However, what's really unique about this one is that you can actually set the grade right here. See, this is a 2B because this, this you can change this. See, it says HB, 2B, whatever. So that's a 2B. Um, I don't really care for these too much because you can see they're very easy to, to change it. I'd rather just put it on there and then that way um, you can't mess with it and you always know what's in there. But what you can do with these is you'll notice that on the end, the part that you press to eject the lead, there's a little hole. And that little hole will allow you to sharpen your point. So let's say I eject this a little bit like so, 
and then I'm going to go in here and just turn that and get a point. See that? Get a nice little point. And you can mess up your hands and everybody's happy. Anyway, that's how that works. However, a better way to sharpen your points with these uh, clutch pencils or lead holders, if you like, and it makes kind of a mess. Okay, let me show you how you would sharpen your lead holder graphite lead here using the Stadler 502. It's pretty simple. Now you have a couple of selections here of what kind of point you might want. A longer point, let's see if we get that in focus. You can have a longer point or a stubbier point over here. And then this is where you're going to actually put the pencil holder in when you uh, do your first adjustment. The first thing you need to do is you need to release the lead. Okay, so hold this in so that this moves. And then decide which one do you want. So let's say I want this blunter type or the shorter point and you let that lead just drop in there and then push your lead holder all the way up against the plastic and let go and that will give you a preset length here okay now what you're going to do is you're just going to stick this in and if you're let's say you're right-handed just hold the tub with your left hand and you're going to turn this whole thing using the uh, lead holder. So just do that. And then when you when it starts to move freely like this, you're done. And as you can see, I have a nice little point. Now let's compare it with the other one. So again, I'm going to release this lead. It just shoots out like crazy. And then I'm going to push it in that other hole. And then push this all the way in let go to preset the length and then put it in the sharpener and again just turn it like this I'm holding this and I'm turning this okay now it's running free again and you can see it has a real radical point now let's compare the two and you can see the difference here see one is deadlier than the other one. So it depends on what kind of point you want. So this is very handy because this one here will just give you a nice little point when you're using the holes on the end here. But using this little tool here can give you different points. Now there are many artists who only use uh, these clutch pencils, these pin lead holder type pencils because of the fact that um, you can just keep injecting as much lead as you want. You can get any grade you want. They're two millimeter sizes here. And you can always put a nice point on it. Uh, very handy to have. Very clean in the hand for the most part. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and very dangerous. But a lot of people prefer them. Um, I think they're great, though I don't use them. At least now I don't, but I may in the future. But right now I have so many of these pencil sets that um, i got to use them all up. So for right now, I'll just keep sharpening pencils like everyone else. Okay, now another thing is the woodless pencils. And here's a woodless pencil, for example. These are just like your wooded type pencils, except... It doesn't have any wood. They're just thick barrels of graphite and they also come in different shades just like regular drawing pencils. In this case I have a 4B. These are really nice. I think a lot of them, if you get them from a good manufacturer, and I've done videos on woodless. Some of them were bad, some of them were good. Now, this drawing that I did here of the Desert Man was done mostly with woodless pencils. So I was able to get some really nice dark tones with them. So I do like them. 
Uh, I do think that overall they're a waste of graphite because you, when you sharpen these, you lose a lot of the uh, graphite. For example, here's a sharpener. And if I sharpen this, look at all that graphite that you're never going to use. Now, of course, you could save it if you like, but it also would include the... Wow, what in the world was that pencil sharpener thinking? But it has that coating on the outside, kind of a plastic coating. You're going to get shavings of that, too. Wow, this is... Oh, this is... Uh, <laughs> I never reviewed this puppy here, but this makes super duper long pencil points. Let me get a nice pencil point on this. Interesting. All right, well that was due to happen. Okay, so that would be your woodless. They're also nice drawing pencils, but another problem with these that I don't like is that if you drop them just from this height alone, this thing will shatter like glass. You cannot drop these. You must handle them with care. Now, you shouldn't drop any kind of pencil because even these kind of pencils, if you drop them enough, they can break inside. But these are fragile like glass. Well, anyway, that pretty much covers the pencils that you would likely be using for drawing. I hope that uh, you found this informative, and uh, if so, I ask please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.